Hi guys, it's Burgess. Do you remember this painting I did last week where I was having a lot of trouble with the with the foreground and of course the trees where the Harkia brush just wouldn't get into that chiseled state and I kept getting this um, devil's ears thing and I did say in that video that I might consider giving it a bit of, giving it a bit of a haircut and do you know what I did? I took a pair of scissors and um, after wetting it, like you would with a when you're having a haircut, I, I sort of snipped off, I think like this. I, I sort of snipped off about, I would say, um, half a centimeter. So I'm going to try it out now, doing a random picture. Maybe not this, of course not this one again. But I want to see if that chopping off action did actually help to get that chiseled edge and, of course, to stop that devil's ear forming. So um, let's have a go and see what happens. It's just going to be a, a, a sort of a test, another test really, um, all about learning the Harke brush. So let's get started.
So this is my new attempt after the last sort of fiasco. Um, it's the attempt after, I if you remember, I chopped up the parquet brush or the hake brush. I like to call it the hake brush, where I chopped off about, I don't know, around half a centimeter off the tip. And I have to admit that it was a lot easier to use. I didn't get so much of the devil's ear that you get like that. I didn't get that at all. Well, well, very little, and I think it was negligible. And I did get it to more of a chiseled point. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. I don't know what you think. Please let me know what you think in the comments section. Compare it with my last attempt and uh, let me know what you think. One thing I will tell you, and I think that that might have made a bit of a difference, is that no, it's not just because I chopped up the end of the brush, but because I was using paints that were more straight from the tube. And I think that helps a lot. So um, let me know what you think in the comments section, what you think of my hake brush painting. And uh, if you like it, do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment as well. And of course, do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And if you have, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video.